in a lot of these uh, constructs, instead of trying to boil the ocean, it's better to break it down, right? And so, like you mentioned, uh, a great way to look at the buyer journey is in three stages. And so what are these three stages? Generally, you'll find there's awareness where people are becoming aware of a challenge, a problem on their end, because ultimately what leads them to buy our product is not necessarily something on our side. It may be something on their side. You know, maybe they had a previous solution and that didn't work or their situation changed and they needed a solution like ours. So first is awareness. Then comes consideration. Okay, so they have a problem. They have a situation. Now they're seeing, okay, so, you know, should I buy uh, this solution? Should I buy that solution? So that is consideration. And the third stage is the actual decision. So, okay, they've looked at various uh, products out there and solutions, and now they're like, okay, you know, which one should I go with? And what's interesting about this is, like I mentioned my background, I've seen this in B2C, I've seen this in B2B, I've also seen this in B2G, like selling to government agencies. I've seen this at public safety companies, I've seen this at media companies, I've seen this at e-commerce. So pretty much wherever you go, there's a good chance that these three buyer uh, journey stages will apply in your case. How should we tailor our message? How should we approach our messaging to these different buyer stages, right? So. First, when you think about awareness, you want primarily educational content, right? So that's not the time to make a sales pitch, right? You want to educate your audience. How do you do that? You can use content like blogs. You can maybe create white papers that explain, you know, how generally problems like these can be solved without, again, necessarily talking about your product solution. You can have webinars where you maybe invite some thought leaders from the industry and talk about, hey, you know, what is a best in class uh, kind of a solution to this kind of a problem? Again, it's not a sales pitch, it's just like education. You can even have industry reports. Uh, if you're in a position where you can author a report, maybe you do a survey and you create a report based on that, that is excellent. If not, you can maybe even commission a report. So awareness, think about like education, right? It's not a sales pitch. When we think about consideration, so that is the next stage of the buyer journey, then they want, customers want, you know, a little bit more detail. Okay, so they understand, you know, from a high level what these problems are and what kinds of ways you can approach this. Now they want to understand different solutions. So here, when they're looking at your product, they want to see things like case studies, right? How did you solve this for another customer? And ideally, it'll be a customer in their situation, right? So if you're doing uh, B2B and this customer is an enterprise looking to buy, that's great. You know, you don't want to give them like a B2C solution uh, or a case study. So make sure you have your case study that is right. You can have product comparisons. So either different products that you offer and you know, hey, if you're looking for this, 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 maybe this is the solution for you. If you're looking for that, 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 maybe this is the solution. If you like, you can even have a competitive uh, set, right? So you can say, hey, us versus the competition. We do like these 10 things. The competition just does these three things, things like that. You can have customer testimonials. So if you have actual statements that your customers have shared, um, ideally, if this is in public domain, right? If this is in G2 reviews or so, uh, you can share that because people can actually go to G2 and check that out. Or if they've shared this on social media, you know, that's a great place. Uh, you can have reviews and so on. So these are some of the things that you have during the consideration phase. Then you have the decision phase. Okay, they've you know looked at all these uh, different solutions. They're ready to buy and they're like getting down to the wire. So here, what you need is uh, really invest in excellent product demos. You know, show them the ins and outs of your product, how exactly it works, and how that really beats the competition. Give them free trials if you can. Right? There's nothing like actually tasting the product before they fall in love with it. And so if you can afford a free trial, you know, definitely include that. Uh, of course, provide all pricing information. So if it is like a big ticket item that they're buying, uh, they understand exactly how that works. If it is like a subscription product, what is that subscription? What are the optional packages that they may have to get? And a really A plus way to do this will be if you include like an ROI calculator. Right, so, hey, yeah, you're gonna spend this much money to buy this product, but here's how much maybe it's gonna save you in a five-year term. 
right? Versus like a total cost of ownership, things like that. So those are some of the ways you think about the buyer journey stages and some of the content that can apply to those stages.